Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Keen Holiday. I am the founding artistic director of Moto Theater Works. That's my theater company. Many of you are looking at me saying, well, I don't know him from that, but I know him from somewhere. Well, you've probably seen me on the television series Matlock, working with the late, great Andy Griffith as Ben Matlock. And I as Tyler Hudson, private investigator. That was a long time ago. But here we are today to celebrate golf. Welcome golfers and future golfers, because I'm telling you, some of you don't know, but when you walk out on that lush green grass and put that stick in your hand for the first time and whack that ball, and it kind of goes where you want it, it's all over your hook. And you will be a golfer for the rest of your life. How many of you, and I'm talking to young people, how many of you know that when Tiger Woods is about to hit a dog leg left, doesn't mean a four-legged dog that's running with the stake. No, Tiger's getting ready to hit a ball around a corner that is camouflaged by trees, really tall trees. Now when Tiger hits that ball up in the air, He's going through a series of mathematical calculations. He's using calculus. He's using physics. He's using geometry. He's using even geothermal knowledge because he got to know how the wind is directed when he hits that shot. So golf, even though it looks like it's really simple, go out there and hit the ball. It is a thinking man and woman's game. You have to know your mathematics, your science. You got to know your air currents, temperatures. You got to know which way the grass is cut to see what the ball is going to do. That's the joy of golf, the challenge. It's you and that ball against all the most creative minds and designers out there. I love this game, but where does my love of this game come from? I'm going to tell you, my father, my father started my love of this game. He and my Uncle Roger would go out to the local Long Island clubs, public courses, and they would play. They got the bug early on. But I'm going to tell you, something happened. One day, they went to a particular club, public course, supposedly. And the starter, it's the man that starts everybody, said, only way you're going to get on this course is carrying a white man's bag. Uh, I was about eight years old when they came back in the house. And they were livid. These two World War II veterans who had served their country, put their life on the line, couldn't even play a friendly game of golf at the local course. Which brings me to a gentleman that I so admire and I want to inform you about today. This gentleman lived in Canton, Ohio. And his name was Art Powell. Now, I'm pretty sure Mr. Powell had a very similar kind of experience as my dad and my Uncle Roger. But Mr. Powell resolved his situation completely differently. Instead of Mr. Howell coming, Mr. Powell coming home and being all upset, Mr. Powell stood in his backyard and realized, hey, I got a lot of land out here. A lot of trees. They're never going to tell me I can't play golf when I want to ever again. And he began dismantling his backyard. Of course, his wife thought he was losing his mind. The children were afraid because their favorite trees that they swang on were getting ready to be removed. 
Mr. Powell built his own golf course in his backyard. A professional, it kept growing and growing and growing, and his wife got more and more worried. But more and more people began to show up at Mr. Powell's golf course because it was the only golf course in the United States of America that was built and designed and run by an African American. And Mr. Powell's daughter, Renee Powell, uh, guess what? She became a very good golfer, a professional golfer. So what I'm saying to you is, this is somebody that you know, most of us don't even know too much about, if you know anything at all about Mr. Powell. But Mr. Powell changed the lives of many African Americans who had an opportunity to experience the exhilaration of the great game of golf. There are many of us in the African American community who had to fight that same battle throughout the United States. Men like Charlie Sifford, men like Lee Elder, men like Calvin Pete. Man, I'm trying to, these gentlemen, they traveled throughout the United States sometimes with six and seven of them in a car going from one city to the next where they could find a golf course where they could play the game of golf. As professionals, they eventually, some of, them, some of the names that you know of, they eventually led to the game that we now see Tiger Woods excelling at. You gotta have a dream, young people. You gotta have a dream and you gotta have passion about something in your life. And I'm telling you, if you put that stick on that little white ball and it kinda goes where you're trying to get it to go, you will be hooked. We've got a great event coming up September 7th here in in Queens, New York, and we want all of you, all of you young people, all of you old people, all of you seniors and middles, y'all come on out and join the Darby Foundation on September 7th with our Moments in History Tour. It's going to be a spectacular gathering of golf aficionados from all over the country, even all over the world. We're going to have Hall of Fame greats. Some of the names I spoke about earlier, they're going to be here. They're going to be coming into New York. So please, come and join us. I'm going to be there because I'm a big fan. I can't wait to sit down and talk with Charlie Sifford. Wow, one of the first black professionals. Wow, this is going to be awesome. Calvin Pete, ow, oh, this is going to be great. So come and join us in Brooklyn, New York at Medgar Evers College, September 7th from 10 a.m. to noon. We've got all kinds of wonderful surprises. There's going to be all kinds of sponsors, equipment. There's going to be giveaways. We're giving away a lot of things. I'm going to be standing in line because I want some of those new balls that the extra. Oh, man, you hit them. Go, and they go an extra 40 yards. They got all kinds of stuff. New fashions for golf. We got autographs. We're going to have lessons. We're going to have uh, a contest to see if you can be the pro. Oh, boy, we're going to have a great time. So listen, remember what I said. If you haven't tried it, Get that stick and hit that little ball. And if it kind of goes where you want it to, I guarantee you, you'll be hooked on golf. Thank you very much. I'm Keen Holiday, Moto Theater Works. We'll see you there.